Today's video is going to be an introduction to scent work. We are going to utilize the odor imprinting tubes to get dogs started in the sport of scent work. You will see uh, clips following this introduction of various dogs in the process of learning uh, scent work and you will see step by step how we progress with the scent tubes. So if you saw my previous video on how we make these scent tubes, the odor goes in the bottom. In this case, it's birch. Uh, we are starting a lot of uh, dogs in scent work with the local obedience and agility club. Then we have the uh, screen that goes over and later on it'll play an even more important role. And then the tube itself sits on top. Now, the whole concept is the dog comes in, sticks his nose down the tube, we reward from the back as close to source odor as possible. And then it's dog's nose in, click, reward. Simple enough. So you will see in the next clips, you will see dogs in various stages starting off. Some dogs come out and they run around and try to figure it out, but it's okay. You'll see that they're still taking in the odor and it's okay to lure the dog in. Every time I've tried to search odor imprinting tubes or imprinting tubes, I just see dogs on YouTube already working the tubes. I wanted to show you guys how dogs actually look. So don't get frustrated if it doesn't look like other videos. And it's okay to lure a dog in. You can put a piece of food right there on that lip. The dog's going to stick their nose in there and get rewarded. They're still close to the odor. And then we can reward from, from the bottom. So we're going to shape this behavior. And I will show you what it looks like and when you're ready to move on. Um, the biggest problem I see is people get in a hurry. If we imprint correctly and utilize this system, everything else is a nice natural progression. So take your time and let's build the value to the odor. Here you will see a dog's first run on the imprinting tubes. It took a little bit for the dog to figure out. You can see it's all over the place, but we continue with that progression. We don't move off the first tube until the dog is driving in. As you see we go the Dalmatian here, he drove right into the tube. We follow just one tube consistently until the dog is driving into the tube and once it is aware of the game and it runs to that first tube, that's when we progress to the shell game. As you can see with this next dog, this dog's got the game figured out and we have progressed to a shell game the dog's even offering a nice indication. But the key is we do not move on to the shell game until the dog understands the game and is driving into that first tube. The important thing is don't rush this. If imprinting is done correctly, everything else is a smooth transition. So there you have it. An introduction to the odor imprinting tubes. I hope that it cleared up some questions some of you may have. I wanted to go into a little bit more detail in some of the other channels. Be sure to like and subscribe. Check out our Patreon page. We will start adding more content, especially scent work content to that page. We will actually take you from start to finish. So if you want to get into scent work, can't find a local class, can't afford an online class, we will take you from start to finish to help you get to your first competition. Check it out, and as always, have fun.